Hello everyone, my name is Mr. E, and today we will be doing a Pokemon Sun and Moon Lost Thunder Elite Trainer Box. This one has Zorora as the art. So, I say without further ado, let's go ahead and open this one up. Just getting as much of the plastic as possible. There we go. Now we can slide out our box, put that to the side for now, our booklet, very thick booklet this time around, and let's see if we can get a hold of that. We have Zorora, we have Luke, Lugia, oh, I forget this Ultra Beast name, it's very pretty though, and then we have Celebi, right here at the bottom, I actually really like this one a lot. That is awesome. Okay. We put that off to the side. Okay. This is the player's guide, which holds all the information that the box will contain, what cards are possibly you'll get. These are the grass types. Our fires, waters, electrics, psychics, here. Oh wait. Sorry. Steel types. <laughs> then our fairy types. And then our normal types. And then our 
between the cards. And here, here's the part that matters. These are full arts. Full art trainers. I really want to get Mina. And Whitney. Whitney would be cool. And here's the rainbow rares. And then our golden rares. And I think that's it. Yeah. So. Hopefully we get some luck. And we get some of the cards in this book. Sun and Moon Lost Thunder. Now this one's a bit interesting because it doesn't have the pool tab at the bottom. It's got a divot. Aurora right there as well. Then we have our holder. And to one lucky person, there is the code card for the box. Let me get some of this stuff off of here. Okay. Then we have our GX, as well as two other acrylic badges. It's actually a pretty nice looking GX token. I wish it were metal though. Then we have our eight booster packs. Next up, our special dice for the set, our box dividers, our pack of energies, so many energies now, and lastly, our limited edition Zorora sleeves. say without further ado, let's get cracking into the reason why we're here. Hmm, a bit difficult on these. So, go ahead and get our little knife out. your code card. And it should be one, two, three, four. Yes. Always got to double check. We have a lightning energy. Hmm. 
with gear now. A fairy charm. A Litleo. A cutie fly. Hop it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful little Eevee. Excellent. A uh, Hopip. Another one. Different art. Beautiful art. Ooh. A Life Forest Prism card. Let's go ahead and grab our sleeves while we're at it. And lastly, we have a holographic tapu buoy. So we will need two sleeves. There's one. And there's two. We're now doing double sleeving. Each one gets its own individual heart song. If you guys are curious as to which sleeves I use, I will put a link down below. So, Tapu Bulu has heavy punch and wild tackle. Heavy punch. This attack does 20 damage for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Wild tackle. Flip a coin. If tails, this Pokemon does 30 damage to itself. which is a stadium card. Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 60 damage and remove all... <clears throat> Once during each player's turn, that player may heal 60 damage and remove all special conditions from one of their grass type Pokemon. Whenever any player plays an item or supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to this stadium. So far so good. That was our first pack. Yeah, it seems like these will be a little bit difficult for me. There's your code card. Clearly, I am not. Izatu. Bayleaf. Dedene. Marini. Cyndaquil, who looks so happy. What a nice card. A Ultra Beast. Poiple. Combi. Cute little Pokemon. Houndor, our reverse is a mill tank. <laughs> he looks so serious. And lastly, it's a briska. 
Sipstrika. Always difficult for me to pronounce. Next up. Lost Blender Custom Catcher Onyx Ralts in Claymation Form Happy Cyndaquil Pinaco Beautiful Background Combi Ooh, A Beautiful Mantine has a Reverse and lastly, a bear tick. Next up. There's your code card. One, two, three, four to the front with a fairy, a grass type energy. We have a lampant, sable eye, electro power, a lowland meowth, a cub chew. Tangla <laughs> with cute balls of yarn. An Alolan Vulpix. A Snubble. Our reverse is a hand drawn Trico. Smelling a beautiful little red flower. He looks so happy. And lastly, a Ribumbi. Two, three, four. Four more packs. If you guys want to see me open up the Japanese pack. Take a look into seeing how to get some of those, if you're interested. I've never collected the Japanese cards, but it could be something nice to have. Four to the front, an electric energy, Aether Foundation, Curlia, Mantine, Tangler, Alolan Vulpix, Snubble, Marini, Cyndaquil, our reverse is an Alolan Meowth, and then we have a hand drawn Lapras. I see that there's a lot of cool sets that are Japanese but do not translate into the American or English packs, unfortunately. But, like I said, if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to get a hold of some. One, two, three, four. Fire energy, Flaffy, a 
Delectabuzz, Count Keklian, Blitzel, Onyx, a cool spinner egg spewing some web, Poplio, Morlo, a reverse Jigglypuff, and lastly, Unknown, oh, one of the most mysterious Pokemon. Two more. So happy, look at him. Jigglypuff, a little in meow. Cup chew. Ooh. Another prism card. Heat factory. Let's get a sleeve for that. And lastly, ooh, that's a good one too. A full art judge. So it seems all our good cards come with a prism card. That is a beautiful card. Firstly, we'll read Heat Factory. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a Fire Energy card from their hand. If they do, they draw three cards. Whenever any player plays an item or support card from their hand, Prevent all effects of that card done to this stadium. Judge. Each player shuffles their hand into their deck and draws four cards. Look at that one. That is absolutely beautiful. We're getting a lot of these full art trainer cards, and I like it. <laughs> we have two more Elite Trainer boxes coming in the mail, and I already recorded a Tag Team Booster Box opening, which will be coming up soon. I need to record the other one. And I think I will be all cut up in terms of Pokemon cards. Then from there, it'll be collecting new sets. There's your code card. And old sets, if I can, at all. They do get quite costly after a while. One, two, three, four. With a... Steel. Arena looks so happy. 
Pachi Mar Pachi Risu is his name. Hopip Carbink I reverses a slugma and lastly a vis victini. Well, not the best ending, but if we look at what we got today, I'd say for eight booster packs, two prisms, a hollow, and a full art supporter card, that's not bad. So, like always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Have a good one. See ya.